Hi everyone, I'm Chris. I'm an applications engineer with AWR Group of National Instruments, and I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about LoadPole. Last summer, around IMS 2015, we released version 12 of our software that included the capability to deal with swept LoadPole files. That is LoadPole data with an independent swept parameter, typically power. We're now on version 12.03, and in the three minor releases since version 12, We've increased our load pool capacity uh, even more, and I'd like to talk about uh, just a few features that have been added since version 12. So let me go to the software. I've got a load pool template here. Uh, as a reminder, you can bring one of these in with scripts, load pool, create load pool template. You set up your device that you want to characterize. Uh, in my case, I've got a Corvo gallium nitride device uh, made with a monolithics model and I'm going to load pull it. When you're all set with that, you say load pull once again, and this time load pull, and it brings up the uh, script that'll actually run the load pull characterization. In my case, I've characterized uh, both source and load together. So we're going to nest source pull and load pull together. And if we run that, it'll take just a few minutes. Uh, let's look at the results. So now we've got uh, load contours on the left, source contours on the right, and we've got a marker on each where we can select the gamma points. And we're essentially selecting the source and load impedance that we're presenting to our device. And as you can see, as I change the source impedance, that of course impacts the load contours. And as I change the load impedance, it impacts the source contours. So it makes it very easy to just move toward the maximum uh, markers here with both the source and load and these are uh, contours for power delivered to the load so we can just very quickly uh, reach first cut impedances on both source and load sides uh, for our device and that lets us get off to a start uh, with our design instead of iterating back and forth between source and load pole we can do it all with one simulation run. Uh, the next thing I'd like to mention is the ability to um, characterize our device not only at fundamental frequencies but also at harmonic frequencies. So this is another load pull template and you can see we've got our fundamental load fixed here with the, the uh, impedance set by the harmonic balance tuner and if I say scripts load pull uh, you can see we've load pulled uh, the second harmonic at the load side. And let's take a look at the contours uh, that we get from that. So here is our uh, fundamental frequency again that we fixed and these are contours of uh, power added efficiency and it's really the device's PAE as a function of second harmonic impedance that we're presenting to that device. And of course that can be run over power and we can see the contours change as the power level changes. So that allows you to take your characterization to the next level, not just a fundamental, but at harmonic frequencies. So the last feature I'd like to mention is one that's in beta for us right now. It'll be fully released in version 13, due out later this year, and it's system level load pull. Uh, as you may know, VSS, our system simulator, is fully integrated in Microwave Office. And it allows designers to characterize devices not just with CW tones, but with modulated tones, real world signals. So if I say scripts, load pull, uh, you see we now have the option to generate a system load pull template. And it will come in and give you the uh, instructions and the setup to load pull your device uh, under system conditions. For this, I've just load pulled with a simple uh, QPSK signal, but this could be an LTE signal, a 5G signal, uh, whatever test model signal you have. And then if we look at the results, we can contour for things like ACPR or EVM. And all the measurements work just the same as with the uh, circuit level low pole measurements, but we're now contouring for uh, system level measurements, real world signals. Uh, so that sums up a few of the features we're adding and have added in version 12 and version 13 load pull. Thank you.